What's up guys? I hate when I say that, but it just feels right. Um, today, I'm gonna take things from inside to outside. We're gonna be working on the Case VAC tractor. Well, first things first on this, the reason this thing's been sitting here for so long, you guys have seen it sit in the same spot in some of the backgrounds of the other videos, but the battery's dead and it died because it ran out of fuel. And it ran out of fuel because the ball valve at the bottom of the fuel tank just lets fuel drip slowly over time. So mission number one, get battery out. Number two, replace the fuel, uh, fuel ball valve. I got a new sediment bowl. And number three, the other reason it's been sitting here for so long is you're looking at the guy who lost the key. I have a new ignition switch we're gonna throw in too. By we, I just mean me, because it's just me. Uh, so stick around and maybe we'll get this thing running and moving. Get it out of the way. Well, I got the side panel off. Looks like the filter's full of fuel, so the tank might... I put some gas in there. There might be some in there, so we might have to just let her go into a bucket or something. Uh, but the battery should be able to get it out of there. I just have the panel sitting here because the headlights were still hooked up. I think I'm just going to take those off because they're kind of weird for this thing. Square headlights. This tractor needs round headlights, but anyway, I probably get some to put on there. Now that I have a closer look at how they go on. Clean up some of this wiring a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to get that battery out. Throw it on the charger inside and then probably work on draining some fuel. Maybe we can work on this uh, wiring a little bit easier. And there's a bee's nest that was reason number four that I didn't touch this thing for a while. But I killed those guys a while ago and it cooled down out here so there's not too many more bugs flying around. But anyway, let's get back to work. with the battery on the slow cooker. I uh, think it's time to drain some fuel. It would appear there's no gas in the tank. All I'm getting is drainage out of the filter. I guess out of the carb, so I'm just gonna let that pee for a bit. Pull that ball valve deal off the bottom of the tank. Pull the fuel line off the carb. And see about our sediment bowl. All right, up top, we got old parts that are actually looking too modern for me and then we got new parts that look old so this uh, fuel bowl has a compression fitting came with the little ferrule kind of ferrule combo nut uh, came installed like this um, the one I didn't realize now the one going to the carb is a compression fitting and I don't have a 5 16 compression fitting here so I might have to run to the store and pick one up but not a huge deal um, the winds blowing pretty hard anyway I'm gonna get that bowl put on hopefully um, see if it fits and whatnot but don't see it said it, it said it fits the tractor so see if the uh, packaging was right and then this line is from the Model A, see that video here, um, but I needed, I wanted 5 16 hard line uh, running next to the engine, I think it looks more correct anyway, so we're going to do that, make this fit in that spot, 
real easy to bend so that shouldn't be too big of a deal my OCD might not be happy because I can't get perfectly nice straight bend lines out of an already bent line but that's the way she goes let's keep uh, trucking along here I'm gonna get that bowl put on Just barely screws in. I'll take barely though. And find a good spot to stop spinning it. Probably something like that. That way the outlet points to the carb. It's not touching anything. Calling it good. I can spin the valve. Yup, still can. Cool. Well, before I get out of here and try and find some supplies in town, I'm gonna see if I run into anything else that I might need to go out for. So, let's get that ignition switch put in. Let me catch you guys up with what I've been doing here, off camera. Sometimes I just gotta think and do, and the camera adds one more step. But anyway, let me show you guys what I've been doing here. Got a new ignition switch in, you saw me do that. I learned one important lesson. The washer that they give you goes on the inside, or your key won't turn. So I had to take it out and put it back in. No big deal. Uh, I wired one side to this post of the ammeter, brings power up here, and then the yellow one, put a little uh, insulated spade terminal on there, and sent the wire up to the coil. There was two wires up here running to the coil, and one had a, oh, it's right here. <laughs> what if we had this ballast resistor? on here and it wasn't even being utilized so I took it out and enough in an effort to clean things up a little bit ran the wire up here zip tied some stuff to make my myself feel better and uh, cleaned up some scaly rust under the battery and whatnot and blew it all out Just feels feels better when stuff's clean so I think I'm gonna run into town grab a compression fitting let the battery sit on the cooker a little longer. See if we can keep progress going. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, made it back from the store. Couldn't help myself, bought a few goodies, whatever, but I'll just show you guys what I bought for this project. <clears throat> uh, I got a little three pack of uh, compression ferrules and that's all I needed so I think I'm gonna try and figure out how to make this line up and move on forward with the fuel stuff check on the battery maybe we'll see
Yeah, it's raining out here. And the sun's out. It's a weird day. The whole time I've been working on this thing, it's been raining about a mile away. Because I drove into town and drove back out and drove right through the same spot. But it rained for like two seconds and then quit, so I'm not going to stop. Of course, as soon as I say that, it opens up the sky. Just like that, it's all over. It's kind of like misting out right now, but good enough for me. Let's we'll see if this line fits. Got my fuel line in there. Running behind the air cleaner. Right into the carb. It's not touching anything. Looks nice, so of course it'll probably leak, but let's find that out right now. Should be enough fuel to make a mess. Let's see what it does. Okay, well it shuts off nice. Hard shut off. See how much leaks out. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> All right. See if the other end leaks. That one probably won't. Oh, nice. The <laughs> great. Maybe I gotta open this all the way up for it to seal. I'll see if I can get that to stop tripping. Well, I ended up redoing the whole thing. The old one was too short, and the way I had that bowl didn't work uh, for getting it in because there was no way to uh, get this line all the way seated in there for that compression nut to work right. So I turned it about 90 degrees until I made it work. This sand's a good old comp compression fitting. It's Sitting there fine the fuel is on right now i'm getting no drips i got clearance for my throttle i think everything good to go this isn't touching anything which is besides the choke cable but that's okay i'll probably tie these up for a little bit some sanitation here clean it up a little but better than it was and it doesn't leak which is the ultimate goal so I think I'm going to throw it back together and test the voltage of the battery. Either way, I think we can hear this thing fire up and I can move it out of my way. How about that? before I throw those side panels back on, we'll see if it starts up. Uh, it cranks and I got 12 volts at the coil. Should have fuel, should start right up. So let's see.
right, I got the tractor put back together a little bit. Got the side covers back on. I got, I put the headlight bar on without the headlights because they looked kind of dumb. And I'm ready to move it. So I'm gonna hand the camera to my buddy Ryan. And this will be the first, maybe the first time we've had a cameraman. So here you go. Ooh, it's my lucky day. Fuel's off. This is weird. Well, sun's going down out here. Tractor's moved out of the way. Goals were met. Now I can move it whenever I need to. I'm calling it a night. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Because I know a lot of you aren't subscribed. I'm talking to you. Uh, thanks again. Appreciate it all. I'm just out here doing my thing. You're watching it. Till next time.